This is a 2006 iMac, and right now it's going to boot into UEFI Windows XP. First we boot into Refine because I have a graphics output protocol emulator here. Next we boot into UEFI Freeloader, which is a modified version of UEFI Freeloader that I made uh, because the original one didn't work quite right, uh, had some weird issues. Now we boot into Windows XP Pro without PAE. I think it's just a freeloader bug why that doesn't work. This is using the same uh, graphics drivers as what I used on the Apple TV to get it working uh, with Windows XP. Um, for some reason, the, uh, the boot screen doesn't show up. Actual like graphical boot screen never shows up. Um, I, what's happening, and I don't know why, is bootvid.dll is not allocating um, 600 and like 600 kilobytes of RAM. It says it's out of memory, um, which is really bizarre because uh, the system is detecting all the RAM. If I go into the uh, administrator account and I go to properties here, there you go. You have 2.88 gigabytes of RAM. This thing has three gigs of RAM. Um, and yeah, it's working just fine in that, in most regards, but not for whatever reason in that one. But this, again, is the same graphics driver and all that. Um, and the other thing, the, the install that I did, because I needed an install that could boot on both IDE and SATA hard drives easily, was done through Aegis 2001's Universal NT installer, which is awesome. It's a Linux-based installer for Windows NT, um, going from like version 3.1 all the way to version or Windows XP. I think there's some for ver, there's some other programs like that for for Windows Vista and later, but I don't remember. Uh, but that allows me to get a SATA patched version of Windows XP running on this thing very easily. And as you can see, we have we have the freeloader or the generic frame buffer graphics driver. Um, so yeah, this is an original iMac running. Well, with, it's an original iMac upgraded to a Core 2 Duo and with flashed firmware, but that's not really that important. But yeah, this is an iMac running Windows XP in proper UEFI mode. And hope, uh, hope you found this interesting, and I'll see you in the future.